Hi, everyone. I hope you're having wonderful days, and I hope you're noticing purple trees. This time of year, we can see them, and I hope that you've seen at least one, a tree filled with gorgeous purple flowers. I brought something to show you today. It's a piece of folk art from the South American country of Chile. I love the way this artist decorated the fish and put beads on the fishing line. I brought this because many of the stories of Jesus have to do with fish and water and boats and fishermen. Let's think about that for a minute. Many of the disciples that Jesus chose were fishermen, and they left that job to follow Jesus and learn from him, to be his students and his best friends. Often, during the ministry of Jesus, the disciples and Jesus were in boats on the Sea of Galilee, which, by the way, was later called the Sea of Tiberias. That's in the part of the world we now call Israel. We remember in the stories of Jesus that once Jesus walked on water and once he calmed a storm at sea. In our story today, which happened after Easter, in that time when Jesus was appearing to the disciples, this is what happened. Once, several disciples, after Jesus was continuing to be a mystery to them, and they were very confused about if he had been resurrected or if they would see him again, they went back to fishing. One night, several went out on the Sea of Galilee and they fished all night long and they didn't catch anything. These fishermen fished with huge nets and they could catch lots and lots of fish. But on that night, they had caught zero fish. But as they were heading back to shore, they noticed a person on the shore. The light of day was just coming. It was, the sun was just rising, so they thought they saw someone. And that person seemed to be trying to get their attention and talk to them. That person yelled, did you catch any fish? And they yelled back, no. And the person said, cast your nets on the other side of your boat. And they did. By this time, do you think they were guessing who that person on the shore was? Well, anyway, they cast their nets on the other side of the boat, and they caught so many fish they could barely pull the net in. In the Bible, it says they caught 153 fish. They were heading back to shore, realizing it was Jesus who was there again, to their amazement. And Peter got so excited, he jumped out of the boat and swam to shore. On the beach, Jesus had started a campfire, and he wanted to cook fish on the campfire and share breakfast with them. They did that, and in the time they were together with Jesus, he talked with them about how much he loved them. He asked Peter three times if Peter loved him, and Peter answered each time, Yes, Lord, you know I do. Soon after this, Jesus raised his arms, blessed the people, and he ascended into heaven. He has not been back on earth since, but we have these wonderful stories about his time with us here. Let's pray together now. We'll fold our hands, bow our heads, and close our eyes, and we'll all say amen together at the end. Dearest God, we give you thanks for the words of the Bible. We are grateful for the stories that we read in our sacred book. We are grateful, God, for the life and lessons of Jesus. Please help us remember to live in the way Jesus taught, in your way of love. We pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, 
and we all say together, Amen. Amen. I hope you have a great week. Be sure and watch for purple trees. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.